This morning, we're catching up with six-time Emmy award-winning actor Hank Azaria. He played the scene-stealing Agador Spartacus <laughs> in the 1996 <laughs> film The Birdcage. Amazing. Amazing. And for more than 30 years, Hank has been voicing over 100 characters on The Simpsons, including favorites like Mo and Professor. Oh, love it. And now, of course, you can catch him in the new series, Hello Tomorrow. It's about a group of traveling sales associates hawking timeshares on the moon. Hank plays Eddie, a gambling addicted sales guy who welcomes a new recruit to the team. That's what I want. Big morning for you. Hi there, um, uh, Jerry. Joey. Uh, it's nice to see you guys again. Call me Mr. Nichols, and that's Mr. Porter. So, you ever sold anything before, son? I don't know. I've, I've mostly just worked in groceries. Retail. Wow. <laughs> you, you know, you, you really blink a lot when you talk. Might want to work on that, seriously. Some say it gives the unconscious idea that, that you're half a perv. And just, that's a free tip. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Morning, morning. Good to see you. Morning. Good to see you. Nice so, I got so captivated by my own by work. Yourself. That I got Do you enjoy watching your, your own stuff? It's a love-hate relationship. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. I enjoyed that little clip there. Uh, so what is, it, what is it that attracted you about playing Eddie? Uh, really, the, well, it was a fun idea. This series is crazy. But really, Billy Crudup, I love him personally and professionally, and the, the chance to work with him. And he's, he's am, amazing in this show, truly incredible. And the deal is, so each of you has these ideas for pitching properties on the moon, right? Yes. Um, but with your character, Eddie, what's his pitch? What's his story? Well, Eddie is a gambling addict um, who's got a lot of problems, money problems and other problems. And so he's just good at BSing. And he happens, he can sell anything, finds himself sucked in by Billy Crudup's character selling these condos on the moon in this strange retro alternative uni universe future that we live in there. And Billy is your poker buddy. Yes. Do you... In real you, life. Right. In real life. And so you guys hang out in off time and you're talking about this? Or what do you guys talk about when you're out there playing poker? Not this too much. We haven't seen him at the card table uh, in a while. <laughs> He's been busy producing the show and, and winning Emmys for other shows. Uh, but, um, no, we, you know, the poker table is just for... Just for playing. There's not much showbiz talk at, the, at mm -hmm. the poker table. It's a lot of teasing each other and laughing. You know, when I first met you, your son was so young. He was four years mm. old, Hal. Yes, little Hal. And now he's 13. I can't believe it. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, there look he how was. Cute. Yes. Oh, at the baseball game. So what is your... <laughs> when he was little, you used to tell me that he didn't like when you did his voice, when you did your voices. And he used to say, Dad, just read normal yes. when you read the books. <laughs> but now he likes it with all the voices? Now, now he's into... Well, he likes to control it. When, I, when he was little... If the voice was too scary, You'd be like da 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 da, and uh, I know. And now he, I'm, I still read to him. We're reading the the Earthsea trilogy by Ursula K. Le Guin. Highly recommend it. Amazing, mm -hmm. kind of a precursor to Harry Potter. It was mm -hmm. amazing. And so uh, I like to uh, to do the voices for him still. That's amazing. He's starting he like to some of the voices are actually Simpsons voices, which is ah. like I, I used to read him the Wizard, Wizard of, of Oz, Oz, Frank Baum, and in what voice? Well, like, for some reason, the scarecrow was motivated. <laughs> and then he got older. He's like, hey. He's like, that's the scarecrow voice. I'm like, no, actually, that was Mo before he was ever. Does scarecrow. he watch The Simpsons now and get it? He does. I think he gets it. Um, he's got other, you know, he's into, like, like Rick and Morty is more oh, speed. Yeah. But that's fine. That's okay. That's fine. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's, it almost occurs to me now at this moment, because having grown up watching so many cartoons, you are this generation's Mel Blanc. You know, mm, who did, that's correct. Who I want to get that in writing from you, Al. <laughs> that's right. Who did hundreds of voices on the Warner Brothers cartoons and others. But, but when you go about your day, do you hear these voices in your head as you're, you know, walking around and, <laughs> and maybe slip question. into them? Uh, first of all, no one will ever be another Mel Blanc. Let me make that clear. He, he was in a class by himself. Uh, I used to a lot. I used to, like, narrate my day. Before I think I had a professional outlet, I would be constantly, I guess, auditioning for someone who wasn't even there. And, uh, you know, Jim Brockmeyer, the baseball announcer. Oh, yeah. love Jim. I will occasionally break into that because it's good for narrating your day if you're bored. <laughs> Zaria sitting here at the Today Show, not much to say. Looking at Jill Martin. Oh, She's looking this wonderful folks who as know always. Who Jim Brockmeyer is. <laughs> tell, tell, tell folks who he is. Uh, Jim Brockmeyer is a baseball announcer. Check him out on Hulu. Four seasons. Uh, He's very dysfunctional, had a nervous breakdown on the air, drank a little bit too much, shared a little bit too much about his uh, intimate personal life, and got fired. 
<laughs> and um, but still gave the count. You know, like, had horrible problems with some terrible people. As Johnson swings and misses a breaking ball, one and two. <laughs> Can we just do this the rest of the show? <laughs> yeah. In fact, in fact, as we we want to yeah. first of all, Hank, we we want to thank you. But could you could you take us to to break uh, as one of your characters? Yeah. Uh, there there it is. On Let's go as comic book guy. I would say uh, worst segment ever. No. <laughs> No? No, I mean... Well, he I, can't say best segment ever. He just, sure, he just, 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 just keep this. Just keep it. Oh, I know. Hello Tomorrow is now streaming on Apple TV+. Plus. I like my other just version keep, Just better. keep going. Keep oh, going. Uh, when we come back, something to snack on while you watch popcorn, pretzels, and more. I like that. Self Magazine has picked the best of the best, and we're going to sample them. Another voice. Uh, oh. And then later, Chief Wiggum, we're, layer, <laughs> we're layering it on in today's style file from Puffy Vest Parkage. We'll show you how to put together some classic looks. Uh, that's the longest I've ever read anything. <laughs> we'll be right back. Oh, we owe you You're so wrong. much money. I feel like that. Hank Azaria, ladies. Hank, Hank Azaria. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.